So today we are going to create a bomb New Year's Eve makeup look. I've already applied my foundation off camera, but I am going to do the rest on camera. What's up? It's been a minute. Sis has uploaded client vlogs, wedding vlogs, but I have not been on here just to talk to you guys. So I'm super pumped just to film this tutorial. I am going to start with my eyebrows. I just, I don't know. I want to do a lot. I don't know. I just want to do things differently today. Like I really want to go full, full glam. So um, I may fill in my eyebrows more than I usually fill them in. You guys tell me what you think about these hair clips. So they're a lot bigger than what they looked like in the packaging. But I uh, originally wanted to wear them for photos. So I don't know. But yeah, this Huda Beauty Foundation is the bomb. Like the coverage is amazing. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about it except the smell. Okay, so it kind of smells like the most vintage old perfume you could possibly find. But other than that, I love this foundation. It is full coverage. It's buildable. It dries down to like a beautiful matte finish, but it dries down to like a soft matte finish. Um, I love it. I really do. I know I'm kind of late on the train to buying it, but I picked it up last weekend and I also picked up the loose powder. It's a beautiful product. She came out with a really beautiful range of shades for everybody. So everybody can go out and pick up this if you like a full coverage foundation that dries down to a matte finish. And if you don't mind the old scent, then definitely go out and try it. Now, of course, the scent does go away after it settles on the skin. Like, I probably, I've had my foundation on for about mm, 10 minutes, and I already really don't smell it anymore. So, yeah. You guys, I really miss talking to you guys. I have been so busy working, weddings, clients family, school, but now I have a break. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to end this new year, this new year. I'm not gonna end out this year without a bomb makeup tutorial. And I have been wanting to create a really bomb, silver, glittery, smoky eye. So I said, you know what? We're gonna make it happen. And I'm just so excited because this has been a long year. But this has been an amazing year and I wouldn't change anything at all. I have my first interview um, and documentary that I am releasing tomorrow. This video should be up by tomorrow as well. But you guys stay on the lookout for that. It's just a really in-depth insight about Malika Trot. It's not even really about the makeup. It's about me behind the brushes. You know, how do I do what I do? What keeps me going? What keeps me motivated? How I'm still standing? Just all that. And I really feel it's important that people know because you see one thing, but there is a whole operation behind this. So I'm really excited and I'm really pumped for the world just to see it. And it's been a beautiful journey. And I just don't know what I would do without God because he is the man behind it. He is the reason behind it. And I will continue to give him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise for everything. Like he is so bomb and I just love, I love talking about him and I love giving him the credit because I look back on pictures and content and experiences and just anything about me. And I'm like, that's you, God. He's just using me as a vessel and that's just to keep it really a hundred like it's not me it's him so even at the end of this look it's going to be a beautiful bomb look i'm super excited because it's going to be so pretty but it's his glory that goes for it so anything that you see that represents me my work my client anything that i push out even how i carry myself or you know um these videos just anything it's his glory he is using me as a vessel so i will continue to ask god you know let your counsel prevail all over my life and do whatever you want to do. Just do whatever you want to do. Tell me what you're doing. I'll do it. Just use me. Because the world is, you know, times are trying right now. And people are getting bolder and bolder and being who they want to be. And I got to be bolder and bolder for the kingdom of God. Period. Look, okay. I'm in. Oh, my God. 
gosh, I just, I haven't talked to you guys in so long. It feels like forever. Um, yes, this is excited. This is about to be a bomb new year. Like, I can feel it. I'm so excited. Like, I'm really pumped. I have gained so much insight about how life should work and just being in my word, fasting. This has been an awesome year. This has actually been the first year. I'm going go on with the Morphe concealer, but I can honestly say this has been the first year where business has been good every single month. You know, usually I felt like in the past, you know, I'd have good months and it was never just like a okay because my business has always done good. But when I tell you, God has blessed me every single month this year, like I already know it's because I've been fasting and I've been in my word, but just putting the protocols, rules and commandments before him, you know, telling God, this is what you said I have. You promised this to me, just scriptures that pertain to whatever it is that I'm needing, whether it be a breakthrough, increase, whether I'm going through a hard time, or um, it could be, you know, just anything, emotionally, depression, anxiety, fear, worry, doubt, whatever it is that I'm trying to overcome, come out of, or whatever it is that I'm wanting, I put the scriptures before him, and with fasting, and just enabling your supernatural helpers my whole year has been so different and i ask god in everything just let your counsel prevail over my life i know what i want but you really know what i need so i don't even if i'm about to do something that i've never done before or if i'm having a decision about anything that i feel that is worth you know uh, me doing god what's up like what you feel about this what should i do you know do you want me to do this so if it's in your counsel for it to happen let it happen and if it's not don't let it happen because i only want to do what you want me to do and that was kind of hard for a little bit for me just to you know really grasp because i'm like dang i really want all these things but when you think about it if it's not in his will why would you really want it it's just like kissing a bunch of frogs like why go through all that pain and just that waste of time if it's not who god has for you and that's not to say that you're not going to have trial and error in life, but when you can prevent it by keeping God in it and, you know, opening your spiritual eyes and ears, he's going to tell you, don't do this, do this. So now I'm just like, that's just the easiest way for me to maneuver through life at this point. And that's not to say that it's not um, difficult at times because, yeah, I'm like, okay, I may want this or I may want that, but just be more mindful and just be more sensitive to the holy spirit because he'll tell you okay sis that's not a good look okay this is a good look do this don't do that set my eyes with the huda beauty powder love this as well and i use the shade blondie it has a yellow base on the tone it's such a pet peeve of mine like i've been watching youtube for like six years and i still see people that just do the whole tutorial and they don't even comment down below the products that they use or the shades and that would always bug me because i would like try to scroll back through the comment section and try to find that shade or whatever it is that they use and they just didn't list it and i'm like why what is wrong with you like why would you not do that so nonetheless i got you if anybody got you on the product knowledge i got you I'm gonna go on with my contour shade for my Black Radiance palette, and that's what we're gonna use to lay down some definition. So now we're moving on to one of the stars of the show. This is the NYX pigment in the shade Free Dye. Now I will list this as a disclaimer. I feel like you should use your finger. The warmth of your finger is really gonna apply this product best, and then you can go on with a small brush to get in those areas that your finger can't reach, but this is so pretty. Taking something on the back of my hand, and we're just going to slowly begin to build this up because I don't want it to be too, too, too glittery. Like you can, there's levels of this pigment that you can build up, but I want to start it off really softly. We're gonna start with 
soft glam palette and we're just going to use this to create our wing and just to smoke it out. I'm alternating an angled brush, a flat headed brush, and I'm just gonna go in with a big fluffy dome brush and I'm just gonna keep diffusing and building until it's as smoky as I want it to be. So basically this is just about laying down definition, blending out, laying down definition until it gets to the place that you want it to be. I'm also going to go in with the shade Cypress Umber just to kind of buff out the black so it won't be too, too harsh, but it still is gonna be really smoky. I just wanna smudge it out with a lighter color so it'll be easier to blend out. So I'm going to start with my bronzer on the lower lash line and then I'm just going to transition the blacks and browns until it gets as dark as I want and then I'm going to elongate the inner corners of my eyes. For highlighter today, I'm gonna use an eyeshadow out of the Patricia Bright palette. I'm just gonna mix, oh, I'm just gonna mix Darlings and You Are Gold together. And then I'm gonna top it at the very end with an e.l.f. Um, highlighter, but we're just gonna start with this one for now. So right now, this is just Darlings. And since it's New Year's, I don't really put highlighter on my cheekbones as much anymore. I usually just do my nose. But for this look, we're going to just highlight everywhere. I haven't highlighted like this in a minute, so it kind of feels good. But we're about to just glow. We're about to just glow. We're just going to glow, glow, glow. <laughs> this is the Elf highlighter in the shade White Gold. So now we're going to go on with some brow gel. I'm here for this look. Instead of me always using Palladio lip liner and walnut, I want to do a more brown based lip liner or more cool tone brown, not so much of a warm brown lip liner. So we're going to go in with a couple lip liners today because what does it look with me if I just use one lip liner? That's just not going to ever happen. So I am going to start with ColourPop BFF3. I'm going to use the lip liner in the shade Coffee by in cave i got this at my beauty supply i'm gonna go in with peach villainy by elf because that's my favorite lip gloss ever with the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. I feel like I always forget to set my face in videos, but I was like, I'm not gonna forget, and this is the um, holiday edition. 